gardens are good for the soul. I believe in the promise of beautiful landscapes to make people's lives better. Oh, and look! look. Yes. With the purple, isn't that yes. fabulous? Aren't they gorgeous? And no one believed that more than my hero, Beatrix Farrand. It really is out of an Edith Wharton novel. And being the daughter of a divorced society and mother, she felt that she had to make a life of her own. This was quite unusual for someone of her class yeah. to be taking on a profession as yeah. a woman. Earthbreaking, yes. like, literally. It was like walking through a rainbow because it goes from light to dark, and then it like makes you go that way towards the white, and then you come around. Because it has a message, you know, come be here, we want you to come. One of the most eloquent arguments she made was for the creation of Acadia National Park. She articulates the value of public access to a beautiful place like that. That's why she's my heroine. In no small part because of Mrs. Farron, women like me have been able to have a career in public garden design. It was all overgrown. It did seem dangerous because there was no one in there. Who did they call on? But the superhero of public parks, Lyndon B. Miller. I had to teach myself how to raise money, go to people, friends, ask for help. Do you come to the garden often? All the time. Do you? That's yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm here all the time. I recommend it to everybody that I know. OK, so then you come to the gate. And then if you're bringing a visitor, you turn around and you look at them because their mouths fall apart and they go, oh! She appreciated science and also geometry. In her gardens, people experience nature and art at the same time. No one focused on the fact that America had unique landscapes of its own. This is lovely. You can go into one of her gardens and learn about this necessity to adapt to changing climate, changing times. We're fortunate that Dumbarton Oaks has survived, and it's brilliant. That's yes. what a pioneer is. It's somebody who breaks the mold 